Hi folks, I'd like to show you what I'm currently working on, namely a massively improved anti-camera support in the Storm Gimbal controller. And you know that the Storm Gimbal controller since ever had also a camera controller and board, and that since quite a while it also has what it's called the anti-camera concept, which allows that the control lines of your camera are connected directly to the anti-IMU down on the gimbal and that all the control information is uh, transmitted through this uh, NT bus and your Storm gimbal controller. And this made it that uh, you could get this with a very simple wiring scheme. So here, for example, you have an autopilot flight controller with a, with a receiver and some telemetry <laughs> unit. Then there's a serial wire which uses MathLink uh, connection to the Storm Gimbal controller, and then here's the NT bus, and then your camera is connected directly to this NT IMU, so there are no additional wires from your camera to somewhere else. So that's the setup here, and the new feature now is the following, that you know that some cameras, like for example this Runcam uh, Split Mini 2, can be controlled through the UART port or many features of it can be controlled by UART comments. And uh, this allows new possibilities and uh, this is what I've exploited now. And therefore it's now possible to connect the Runcam camera through its UART port to this NT-IMU. And this gives you a couple of options. For example, you can start and stop the video, of course, but you also can now access the on-screen display, the OSD menu, uh, uh, through the transmitter sticks and when there is an additional cool feature namely that MathLink uh, has what we call the camera manager which provides you a very yeah, user-friendly interface to your camera functions in ground control stations. So that's what I want to show you. So let's go through it step by step. Okay, let me show you the features. So first you see that I have selected here this camera model. There's a new model here, the Runcam Generic, which provides you the basic features. And first you can do, of course, the, the things which you expect you can do. You can send, for example, a comment to switch the video on. So the camera starts recording, which you can see by this blinking lid. We can switch it off again by sending the comment video off. It's now off. You, of course, also can use the transmitter sticks. However, since the transmitter or the receiver is connected to autopilot, we first need to establish the muffling communication between autopilot and this uh, Storm Gimbal controller. And for that, we use muffling. So we switch on here the muffling connection. Okay. So we can use now uh, the stick to control the camera. And here you can see that the uh, camera control uh, one is set to virtual two. So that's the stick here. So I can put it up and the camera starts recording. And then I can release the stick and the camera stops recording. So usually, of course, you would use one of your switches for that. But now you can see there's a third feature, namely there's this control two, which is connected uh, to this stick here in this direction hops. And this allows you now access to the on-screen display menu by only using the transmitter sticks. So you see that's the screen. And when I do a long move in one direction, this corresponds to a mode change. A, small, a short move in this direction corresponds to pressing this button. And a short move in this direction corresponds to pressing this button. So the access to the on-screen display menu is exactly like you would use these buttons here. Uh, just that you can do it now with a stick. So I do a long move here and you can see that the on-screen display shows up. When I do short moves in this direction, I can scroll through the options. When I go into this direction, I can enter an option. Oops, hold on, saturation. Uh, yeah, let's get out of this here. So in order to get it out, I have to do a long. So I'm back here. Let's go into TV mode. Uh, and you can see that all that I just do here I've PAL. When I do a short move, I can switch here between the options here uh, and a long press to get back. 
and so I can scroll through all the things here um, with just using my transmitter stick. Okay, so that's the third option that you also can access uh, the on-screen display menu by using the transmitter. And now the fourth and coolest option is that you can use this camera manager. And in order to uh, make use of that, we first have to establish that uh, Autopilot is using Muffling 2 communication. And unfortunately, Q ground control station, which has this camera manager implementation, can't do that. So in order to do that, we first briefly start uh, Mission Planner. So this takes a while to start up. Okay, so we just connect it once and this makes it that autopilot is when using Mufflink 2 and this we need to get this new camera manager Mufflink comments to work. Okay, so we can close it. Now we have to activate the camera manager, therefore we have to go again in the GUI for the storm controller and set also the Mufflink camera to, for example, camera one, write it. So now we are ready to use that and to start Q ground control. Okay, so it will connect now. And here you will then see the camera manager GUI coming up. Okay, now you have seen how this has changed. We have now this nice red button. And when I press on this, the camera starts recording. And when I press again on it, the camera stops recording. So that's the simplest version of the camera manager feature which you can get with this cute ground control. So you can control from the ground, from your ground control station, you have a very convenient button to switch on and switch off the video recording of your uh, camera. So this was the set of features which you can get when you use this Runcamp generic camera model. And that's not yet all. Namely, you also can switch to the Runcam Split Mini 2 camera model. And this uh, provides you a much richer muffling camera manager support uh, than for this generic camera. And for that, so we start now again a Q ground control station. And now you should see the significant difference in a second. We connect again. So uh, the camera manager builds up. Okay, so we, here we are now. So first you can see that we have now this new camera model. But in addition, you can see this line here. Namely, it also gives you now the available memory capacity on your uh, micro SD card. So when we start camera uh, recording now, we see that when every five seconds the, the available uh, capacity will be called and will be adapted accordingly. So this, this uh, will take a while, of course, just to show you this. Right, so the camera is still recording and consumes memory and when we go through that yeah, I think I've chosen the low setting okay but now you can see that it uh, yes it consumes memory ah, and so this is uh, this is shown you live so on your ground control station, you can see now how many memory on your SD card is still remaining. But that's not yet all, so we stop this here. 
and there's also a set of options which you can set. For example, you can set the video resolution. So currently it's at a low setting here, so we can choose among the possibilities. Uh, so first, that's the current setting. We can control that by going into the on-screen display menu. And then I go here to video. Uh, oops, yeah, like this. So we see that we have this resolution here. Now we can change it here to, for example, this value here. So now we have to briefly go out of it to update it to the new value. And you can see that this indeed has been changed. So in on the ground control station, you can change some of the settings of your flight con uh, of your camera. For example, you also can change it to NTSC, for example, the output. So when we go here to the proper, where is it? Ah, it's, I have to go up to TV out. Then we see that we are now in NTSC mode. Uh, if I would set it here again to, to PAL, like this, I go here like this, then we are in PAL. So this is really, I think, extremely cool that you have now the largest possible or the richest possible uh, access to your camera through a convenient user interface in Q Ground Control Station. And everything is very simple to wire up. Flight controller, muffling wire, storm gimbal controller, and T-Bus, and then here your UART cable to your run -come split mini. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention.